Well, welcome to my bunkay, I believe that's how it's pronounced, professional condenser microphone review. First of all, why do I need this? Well, I run another YouTube channel and for a lot of the time on that, I'm recording directly into this microphone here by my desktop. Now, the sound you're hearing now is coming from my GoPro, not from this microphone. But in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how this microphone sounds and then fingers crossed, what an improvement the new Bunkei condenser microphone makes. Well, what do we get with our Bunkei condenser microphone? Well, that looks like the guard that sits in front of the microphone. Instruction manual on there, USB cable, our microphone itself, you're obviously going to have some self-assembly here, echo dial and volume dial on there, looks like the microphone holder, I think a windsock for want of a better word to call it, clamp, and it comes with a clamp, which you attach to the edge of your work surface or table, so that, so you can attach this telescopic stand to it. Anyway, let's get rid of all the packaging, see what we've got from it. Instruction manual is fairly easy to follow. It doesn't actually tell you what all of the individual parts are. So, excuse me, I'm no sound aficionado. So I'm not quite sure what this is. This is, this is obviously the microphone on here. Now this does have a built-in noise reduction chip in it. The echo function, I'll need to play around with to see what effect that gives on there. Likewise, the volume, when we test it on my Mac, this, little foam sock. Most people seem to use it without this attached on it. The supplied USB cable goes in there. That's probably about coming up on four foot long, I would say, I guess. Okay, the clamp that goes on the edge of the table. Now, I'm not gonna fasten it to my glass table on here. Let's see how the rest goes together. Taking the mount, as per the photo, the microphone holder appears to go on there. Now that is obviously Gonna need this little adapter here, isn't that so you can fit different microphones onto it? So now I'm just gonna spin that round. All seems fairly straightforward to fit together, but it's like I say, you do need that little adapter that it comes supplied with. And you've got some flexibility of movement on there. Now on this bracket it comes with, if you ease this up, you can actually turn it sideways very easily as well as moving it up in the up and down axis on there. So it clamps it in both directions. So you're gonna want that nice and tight if you want it, if you don't want it out to the side. Now our microphone, now that stretches apart to fit our microphone in there. When putting it together, you need to take care that all of the little rubber bands are hooked into the loops on the microphone very easily indeed to pull one of those loose as I found out just now. Well, that is about as far as the microphone wants to go down on there. Now the USB cable goes in the bottom there and you will need to play around with that bracket because when you move the stand that pivots the microphone so you are going to need to get that loosely in place then adjust this to the right angle you need and that microphone is then going to insert into this bracket on the table which I shall do in just a second however in the meantime I'm going to put this I'll call it sound suppressor for want of a better word on there as i'm sure it has but some but if somebody wants to point out what this part of the device is actually called i would be uh, most welcome as i say i'm not a sound engineer well the bracket is angled do i attack it from that angle nope now i tightened it down onto there and when i look in the diagram i actually have it coming out from what is the top of the arm on here Anyway, that is my microphone loosely assembled. I think time to go and put it on the desk downstairs and put the sound to the test. Well, before I demonstrate the sound on the Bunkey microphone, first of all, I'm gonna demonstrate a short little clip of sound recorded just through this, like this. Sound from my existing desktop microphone that I've just shown you. It sounds okay to my mind, but it could sound better, I think, and certainly I want an improvement on it if I'm considering doing a live YouTube video at any point. Anyway, let's move on to the new microphone test. So the sound you just heard was from this microphone I'm recording from my GoPro at the minute. Remove that USB setup out of the way. Okay, well time to test out the new Bunkei condenser mic setup. Plugged it into my USB port around the back of my computer. This simply slides into the bracket that I've screwed to the desk. Now you can clamp it down on here, or if you leave it unclamped, I can spin it out of the way fairly easily. Give me nice easy access to my keyboard. Although if, you, if you're not using it for, although if you're not using it for a few days, you might want to take that out of the way. Now, 
slight criticism was when I first got it out, I was not that happy because I couldn't tighten this screw and the whole assembly kept going down and the air was blue in this room. But I managed to figure out what the issue was on there because the whole thing was very, very well engineered and I couldn't for the life of me figure out why that screw was slipping. Now, I did mention you'll need to line this up as you move it down, the angle changes. So we'll select that to there. We've got that echo button and the volume button on here. I am going to test both of these in this video so you can see what they sound like. First of all, people seem to put this in front of the microphone. I'm not sure quite how near it should be. There's not a lot of guidance on that. And I'm going to put that down so that it's pretty much straight in front of me when I'm talking to it. Now the sound coming to you from the minute is once again from the GoPro on my head. Anyway, the next clip is you're going to hear me talking over the screen, but the sound is going to be coming from this microphone. Well, the sound you are hearing right now is coming from my new Bonke condenser microphone plugged into my Mac. You will see in the top left here, I've gone and selected USB audio device rather than a built-in microphone. So the sound that you're seeing on here, moving up and down, is the sound coming directly from the mic. Now, it's set on half volume at the minute. I'm going to carry on talking while I turn it down. If I go right down to zero, then... I will cease the talk at all. Likewise, that's not turned on full volume. I'm not sure quite how loud that is until I hear it on playback, but I think we're going to set it back to around about 50% on there. As that seems about the optimum range, but I won't tell until I've listened to the recording that you're hearing right now. Now the other button on the microphone is the echo function. Starting with that on zero, I am gradually going to turn that up. I'll read out some of the text on the screen. USB condenser microphone for computer, great for gaming, podcasts, live streaming, YouTube recording, karaoke on PC, plug and play all the time. I am turning the echo dial up and we're just about at 100%. I will listen to this on the playback. It may sound absolutely horrendous. Anyway, let me dial that back down to zero, but I thought it good to test it out so you could hear what it sounded like on screen. Anyway, that concludes the before and after part of the sound test of my new Bonke USB condenser microphone. Well, whilst the sound from the previous clip may have sounded okay through the Bonke condenser microphone, I felt it could have been a little bit louder. I was having it amplify it when I was editing this video by quite a bit. So I've gone into my microphone setup on my Apple Mac and increased the microphone input volume to 100% as I have the dial on the microphone turned up to 100% already. I just felt it could be a little bit louder. Hopefully this sounds much better. If it does, give it a thumbs up. Well, the sound you're now hearing is the sound coming from the GoPro uh, mounted on top of my forehead. Anyway, I hope you like that short overview of the Bonke condenser microphone. Hopefully it sounded much better than the original microphone I tucked away in the corner on there. It is very well made indeed. Um, it feels a lot, lot more expensive than the 55 bucks that we paid for it. That little screw was annoying me to start with. I was thinking I bought 55 quid's worth of junk because if that was going to slam to the ground and not stay where I wanted it, then that was going to be simply not acceptable. But I managed to get that screw eventually to engage lock in place on there. But anyway, the whole point of this video was what was the sound quality like? Well, hopefully it was. And if you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.